Hi, my name is Esteban Kelly and I live in Philadelphia in the United States. I'm from a co-op co called Aorta. Um, Aorta is a worker co-op that stands for Anti-Oppression Resource and Training Alliance. And we were founded in 2010 out of the US Social Forum as uh, initially a small collective of educators, trainers, and organizers who bring facilitation skills to social justice movements and movements for uh, solidarity economy, um, people fighting for uh, cooperative development and, um, and just lives in, in communities all over the country. So we work as consultants um, and also facilitators to do leadership development training with organizations, campaigns, and even working with students on campuses. We help them build up skills to lead their own meetings and processes, uh, think through strategic planning and visioning, and even to just um, increase their understanding of how systems of oppression work, how they're entrenched, how they operate and impact our work, our organizations, our lives, and even our interpersonal relationships. We also uh, provide mediation and conflict resolution trainings um, and help people design uh, work plans and long-term strategies. One of the things that sets us apart from other businesses and organizations that do this work um, is that we ourselves are all uh, a multiracial group that identify as queer um, or gender nonconforming and have a, a long history of being community organizers. And so we actually bring professional skills um, that's informed by our background in a community organizing context. And so sometimes we're able to offer traditional businesses or large nonprofits our perspectives from grassroots organizing or our perspectives from um, studying things like feminism and imperialism and colonialism and how that uh, actually bears out in their programming and in their organizational planning and dynamics. Um, other times we're bringing more professional skills um, to organizations that are under-resourced and don't traditionally have uh, the kind of background and expertise around um, looking at finances or, um, or even helping immigrants and women of color understand um, things like financial literacy and bookkeeping. So that's something that we bring into all the work that we do, bringing an intersectional approach. And we charge, um, we're a very profitable business. We charge our clients on a sliding scale basis, um, fee for service, which um, allows us to pay ourselves uh, a living wage salary um, and it, it also gives us the free range to work with different types of groups because we charge well-resourced organizations more money for our uh, consulting and, and facilitation fees and that allows us to slide down to much more affordable rates for other groups and sometimes to offer workshops for the public for free. We believe that cooperatives build a better world uh, because it allows, it creates a mechanism for people just like us to come together um, and um, use our own talents and skills and resources to create a livelihood. We're, we've, we've been able to, to create a business that's profitable. We didn't see any reason to make it nonprofit, um, but that still has a social and economic justice mission at the core of the work we're doing. Um, and by using the business as a wealth creating strategy, um, it means we can resource our own communities, uh, we, can, we can build up our own economic power in our lives and not constantly be relying on um, governments or on grants and philanthropy to advocate for the things that we need to live well in our communities.